Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to talk about few ingredients that will make your data science project fail or at least it will contribute heavily towards failure of your data science project. Why this discussion is important guys? Because not many of you have worked in data science area for many number of years. Okay. So I am into this area for many years now. And believe me guys, I have seen many projects failing and I am telling you from my experience, what are the few things if you know in advance, right, then your journey will be smoother or at least you can tell to someone, hey, here is a red flag. Okay. And that is important to know. So let's start with few basic things, guys. You know why data science is called data science? There is a word science in this and the meaning of science is you do something and you may fail. Okay you may not get the right response or right answer that you were looking for. So for example, if I give you a Boston data set, I tell you to fit a linear regression model on that. You fit a model. I'm your client. I'm not happy with that model, which means that's a failure for you. Now you go back and you train a random forest model on that, or you train a, a neural network model on that maybe you will pass or you will fail but that is not certain so all these are experiments and experiments need time experiments need time to go through various aspects time to test various things and if you are tight on the timelines right then experiments cannot be done freely experiments cannot be done with ease and that is where data science projects will at least start moving towards failure Try to understand this guys. This is at high level if you are having a limited timeline deadline, but how this limited timeline or deadline will come? It will not come suddenly, right? There are few ingredients that will bring this limited timeline that will bring a comfortable timeline to a limited timeline. I'm here to talk about those things. Okay. First is data lake strategy or data governance that you call it, right? So in simple words for some of you who is from who is new to the industry, right? Who can access what data? For example, you are sitting in India, you are working for a Walmart project. Walmart is all across US. So from India, can you can you access the Walmart US data? Just an example I'm giving. Okay. Or do you need 10 levels of approval to do that? If you need 10 levels of approval to do that, then all these approval will take its own time. And these times, are not counted when project timelines are decided. Try to understand this guys. Project timelines are decided keeping in mind how much time for requirement gathering, how much time for this, how much time for that. Nobody keeps in mind that getting an approval will take like so many weeks or it will eat lot of time. Here you have a chance of losing time. Understand this guys. Keep in mind when you are estimating a project. Okay. Data governance. What is the data access policy where the data is residing? Users can access that or not. If not, what approval is needed? How much time that will take? Understand this guys. Second ingredient that I want to talk about here is data lying in silos. What is the meaning of that guys? Suppose I want to do, uh, I want to do some analysis on real estate data of Bangalore. Just for example, some real estate data of Bangalore, like what is the flat price? What is the land price? All these things, right? And in that data, I want to include government population data, census data also. So what I need to do, I need to have the data for Bangalore real estate. At the same time, I want another data, for example, government census data in this case. So both these data may be lying at different, different places or different, different locations. I need to combine this data to do my analysis. Okay. If you take a complex business scenario, for example, let's take an example of Apple. Okay. Apple make iPhones, right? And suppose Apple iPhone factory is in India. Just an example I'm giving. So it's a very, very complex business scenario. How much uh, iPhones Apple India plant can manufacture in a month that will depend on many things. What is the supply of the raw materials? What is the labor supply? How, how much levers are working? What is the you know capacity of the plant? So much of data is needed. And if all these data come from different different business areas, right, then combining this is going to take time. Okay, I'm here 
specifically telling you where you are going to lose your time okay so combining all these things is going to take time keep this in mind guys do an analysis before you estimate your project okay next thing i want to discuss here is poor data quality now many times it has happened with me that um, when i work on a freelance project or when i talk to somebody then they will say that we have this data that data many things they, they will say that they have okay let's say i want to launch a website for unfold data science okay and i want to i want you guys to come and you know um, uh, kind of submit a form saying you are unfold data science subscriber or something so I will take the data of you guys then only I can do some analysis right like which of my subscribers are having how much of years of experience um, how much of experience how many are freshers how many are male and female this kind of analysis I can do only when I have data right now suppose some of you guys come and you don't give your data at all for example I, I have given an optional field saying enter your years of experience you don't enter your years of experience okay and I am under impression that I have lot of data of lot of people where I know their years of experience but most of you have not entered your years of experience this kind of scenario is very very common with survey data you would have seen many surveys right if it's not mandatory we don't fill it many places we do like this and business owner is under the impression that data is there but the quality of data is so poor nothing can be done on that okay this is your ingredient number three you have to do a advanced analysis what is the quality if it's a poor quality raise the flag in advance say this is useless it cannot be used for any purpose okay and next thing i want to highlight here is different different units or different areas of the business not having data literacy what is the meaning of data literacy guys the meaning of data literacy is what data is important and how it can be utilized and how it should be stored in the most usable format for example there is a concept of data lake right so if you put data in data lake maybe multiple applications multiple projects multiple programs can use the data from that data lake that is a central repository kind of thing so what we are doing we are making the individual projects or individual programs life easy all of that will take the data from the data lake and you know work on their respective use cases but suppose every time i want a data from simple example unfold data science only sometimes i want a, a user data sometimes i want a video data sometimes i want a, you know what kind of videos i'm creating on youtube subject wise data so if all these data in simplified form is kept in one place then it's easier right second way is every time somebody needs a new data they have to come and hit the server and you know create that data again so that is about data literacy creating data architecture creating good data lake creating a common repository so that the individual projects and programs can access that data so i have spoken about four or five things here guys keep in mind you you may not be finding it relevant now but i am telling you from my experience guys um, it will squeeze your timeline and at the moment your timelines are squeezed right then you will feel suffocated in the project okay and then you will not be able to uh, you know contribute very very uh, with with lot of energy or lot of new experimentation you cannot do okay so i just wanted to draw your attention towards few ingredients of ai project failure on the ground i am not talking from any book i am not talking from any of the articles etc okay so give me a thumbs up guys if you like this video and please subscribe to the channel if you have not done yet I'll see you all in the next video, wherever you are, stay safe and take care.